Hello everybody, thanks for joining us once again. This time we're going to be talking about staying on top of things when it comes to good aeroplane management. Preventative maintenance is something we can all do to stop the small issues developing into big problems. Preventative maintenance doesn't just include changing the oil regularly or touching up paint scuffs from hangar rash. It covers a wide range of actions that prevent aircraft staying on the ground for prolonged periods of time. The saying, a stitch in time saves nine, could never be truer than when referring to aeroplanes. Preventative maintenance is a really broad term, but essentially what it boils down to is being proactive in looking after your aeroplane. Yes, it's a cliche, but if you look after your aeroplane, your aeroplane's gonna look after you. This short clip demonstrates perfectly what can potentially happen if these small issues are overlooked. As Arthur has said, preventative maintenance is all about catching a problem before it becomes serious. And aircraft will actually talk to you. They'll give you little telltales if something's starting to go wrong. And that allows you to carry out your preventative maintenance and make sure your aircraft stays serviceable. Exhaust pipes are a classic example. On the flat four engines from Continental and Lycoming that power many of our fleet, the nuts holding the exhaust pipe onto the cylinder heads sometimes can start to come loose. But you get a telltale because you get a stain on the outside of the exhaust pipe which will indica indicate something's not quite right and the exhaust gases are going down the outside rather than the inside. The stains on the outside of this pipe come from the sulphates in the exhaust fumes which means the exhaust has been blowing outside the manifold. Now that is really serious because in addition to these stains there would have been the invisible killer of carbon monoxide entering the engine bay and potentially into the cockpit. That is something that has to be avoided at all costs. Colin, who is the head engineer at Aki Aviation, spoke with me about the importance of staying on top of things and what the key is to make sure these issues are identified on the ground rather than in the air. Colin, this example of a crankshaft here is a very typical example of, of bad preventative maintenance. Yeah, this is came out of an engine which had just been sat uh, basically for about three years. Now, the crankshaft oil seal would sit here. Mm. So this corrosion that you can see here is on the inside of the engine. Mm. So you wouldn't actually see this. So this is what is happening if your engine is not being maintained, if you're not starting it up and letting the oil get round it. So just by letting it sit, the dampness and that will get in and that's it'll eat in and cause this corrosion. So on this crankshaft here we have the body of the engine this side, the propeller sits here and to look at you wouldn't see that damage? No, not unless the engine was stripped or if the oil seal was taken out for any reason. I mean and obviously because the oil seal sits around there that's just going to wear the seal away. Mm. So then all the oil, because this is high pressure oil coming up here, would then just spray everywhere. Mm. And, and potentially, how dangerous is a situation like this with this corrosion? Well, I mean, potentially, the, the danger is that the boss can separate from the crankshaft. Mm. That's and then it, you lose the ultimate. Your propeller. And then the propeller goes one way and you go another way. <laughs> oh, down. Down. <laughs> Gosh, we mustn't laugh really, but it's a very, very good illustration of, of, of how you can stay on top of things. How could this have been prevented? by running the engine, bringing it up to temperature on a regular basis and not just leaving it. And an so extremely expensive mistake as well. Very expensive, that's one of the main parts of the engine, that's the crankshaft, so. We've got some other examples here of corrosion and rust and things. On the top of this piston head, what's happened yeah, here? Yeah, all the white here is again, is corrosion because remember, if an engine is sat, at some point valves are open, so the atmosphere is still going in and it's damp. And, and that's what will happen, it will start corroding. Just the same as inside the cylinder, it will start, the rust will get in there and again, corrosion. But you, you can't see this unless you put a camera in and then you're only going to see the top part. You can't see what's going on underneath, so the bottom of the engine. And that's where all the damage then is caused. So, so and then if you start it up, 
yeah, it'll, it'll run, but now we, this is pitted. Yeah. So I'm no engineer, but when I look at my aircraft engine, I liked it on the front of my aeroplane underneath its cowls and everything, and with the covers on and stuff. I like to think that it's reasonably well protected, but in reality, all of that really does nothing because that, cylinder, that piston head there is still exposed to the outside elements and the moisture in the air. Yeah, because as I say, everything is still coming through an open valve. Yeah. Wow. As well as the day-to-day -day items that you'll notice in operating your aeroplane, from time to time the manufacturer and the Light Aircraft Association will bring out service bulletins or airworthiness directives. If they apply to your aeroplane, it's definitely worth looking into them. We've had a look into the things that you can do to keep your aeroplane in absolutely tip-top health. Next time, we'll be delving into the soul of every aeroplane, the engine. Don't forget to click on the link and I'll see you there.